minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go Cygnus, NG-21. Falcon 9 and Cygnus take flight. The SS Dick Scobie is en route to the International Space Station. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. As you saw, successful liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40. Power and telemetry nominal. Good call out there. Coming up in just about 20 seconds from now, we should hear a call out for Max Q. The vehicle passes through Max Q, or the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, when the increasing speed of Falcon and the decreasing air density combine to create. Falcon 9 is supersonic. To combine to create maximum aerodynamic pressure. And good call out there. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. Coming up next are five events which will happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start, boost back burn start, and then fairing separation. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine... Chill started. Good call out there. MECO is where all nine M1D engines on the Falcon 9 first stage shut down. This is followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages of Falcon. A few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Cygnus to low Earth orbit, and this is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. After that, Falcon 9's first stage will ignite. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. After that, Falcon 9's first stage will ignite again to orient itself to head back to land. And shortly thereafter, the two fairing halves will separate and expose the spacecraft to the vacuum of space. We should be hearing the first of those callouts happening in just a, a few moments from now. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard the callouts for all five of those events, which again were MECO, followed by stage separation, then SES-1, boost back burn start, and fairing separation. Now coming up shortly, we should hear a callout for completion of the boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn, which will last in total about 50 seconds, is the first of three burns the booster needs to go through to make its way back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Boost back shut down. And there's that call out for boost back shutdown on the Falcon 9 first stage. Now, if you're just joining us, you're watching a live Both web vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Good call out there. If you're just joining us, you're watching a live webcast for NG-21, Northrop Grumman's 21st commercial resupply services mission to the International Space Station. This is SpaceX's 74th mission for 2024 and the fifth flight to the orbiting laboratory this year. Now, in order to make its way back to land today, the Falcon 9 first stage has two more burns to execute. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. And following the entry burn, the booster will go through its landing burn. And this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land back on Earth. We should be hearing the call out for that entry burn in just about two minutes from now. Now, during the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but the rocket is still moving really fast, and this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, or plume, which deposit a layer of soot onto the vehicle's surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little more on the outside of the vehicle. 
Now, as a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage as it makes its way back to Earth. And on the right side is the MVAC engine on the second stage currently carrying Cygnus to orbit. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. Now, the MVAC engine, with a much wider nozzle, is optimized to 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. You may have also noticed on the left-hand side of your screen, Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, which are positioned near the top of the first stage. And stage one is using nothing but grid fins for steering as it returns to Earth. They orient the rocket during re-entry and guide it during its descent back to Earth. Beautiful views of the MVAC engine currently carrying the Cygnus spacecraft orbit. Now, with the booster on the left-hand side of your screen, you may occasionally see little white puffs, and those are nitrogen gas bursts, which are used for attitude control. We should be hearing that call-out for the entry burn of the Falcon 9 first stage in just about 10 seconds from now. now Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Good call-out there. Now, that entry burn will be for the first stage, which is on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one, entry burn startup. And good call out there for entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And there's that call. Stage out. one, FTS has saved. And there's that call out for entry burn shutdown on the Falcon 9 first stage. Now, the first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. Placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket, they deploy just prior to landing. If successful, this will be the 10th time that we've recovered this particular booster and the 335th time that we've recovered... Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. 335th time that we've recovered a first stage booster since our first successful landing in 2015. And we did have a good call out there for vehicles following nominal stage trajectories. Amazing view of the Falcon 9 booster as it makes its way back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Stage one landing burn. Landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. A spectacular touchdown of our Falcon 9 booster at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Now again, this booster just completed its 10th flight and the 335th successful Stage landing. Stage 2 has entered terminal guidance. 335th successful Stage landing. Stage 2 FTS has saved. For an overall class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And good call outs there on the nets. Now coming up at around the eight and a half minute mark, we should hear a call out for second engine cutoff one or SECO one, which is when the MVAC engine on the second stage shuts down. And that'll conclude the roughly six minute burn by this engine needed to get Cygnus into the proper orbit for eventually intercepting the International Space Station. We should hear that call out in just a couple moments. MVAC shut down. And there's that call out for the MVAC shutdown on the Falcon 9 second stage. We're now waiting for confirmation of good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's that call out for nominal orbital insertion.